Welcome all to our channel GTEC Fluent. Our today's topic number 21 in ASP.NET Core video series is strongly type views in ASP.NET Core MVC. So this is an, another technique of passing the data between controller to views. So in our previous video, we have discussed another two techniques that is view data and the view bag. So in this video, we'll discuss about what is mean by the strongly type view, how to use the strongly type view or how to create the strongly type view and why we require the strongly type views. So let's switch to the visual studio and we'll see the strongly type views with the details. So we are in our project, which we have created for this video tutorial series. So the view which is bind to the specific type of view model is called as a strongly type view. That means when we pass model to the particular view with the help of the return view extension method, that view get binded to the particular view model and that view is called as a strongly type views. If you go to the definition of the controller based class by pressing the F12, you will found the four overloaded extension method of the return view and two of them, which we have already discussed in our previous video of understanding the view. So in this video, we'll discuss these two methods, return view with the model, return view with the view name and the model. So let's make the change into the controller. Let's return the student object to the view by passing the student object into the return view extension method. So let's remove this as we don't require this now. After this change, we need to make change into the details view. Let's comment out this as we have removed the logic from the controller. So now in this case, we already have a view present in our application and you are converting your existing view to the strongly type view. So in this case, you need to use model directives here model directives space and you need to import the model which is using for this view so in our case that is student class so the basic thing is the strongly type views are created using the at the rate model directives and we need to pass the model object as a parameter to the view extension method after this change we can able to access the model properties with the help of at the rate model m should be capital dot and if you press the dot you will get the properties of the student class in this case we require the name let's run and see and navigate to the student slash detail slash one look we are getting the data of the student name so now we need to make some changes into the ui to display the student information that we have previously discussed so let's make the change into the UI. So I have added require CSS and the HTML here. So let's modify here. We require the student name at the rate M capital model dot name. Here we require the age at the rate model dot age. Here we require the school and here we need to give the class. So let's run and see and navigate to the student slash detail slash one. Look, we are getting the all the data of the student like name, age, class, and the school. But if you notice, we are not getting the image. This is because we have referred the image outside our application. But in ASP.NET Core, the static file are served under the WW root folder. To serve the static file, we require the WW root folder. So let's click on the project. Click on the add folder, www root enter look it is getting converted into the root folder and let's move this image inside the root folder so after this change we need to configure the static file middleware into the startup class so here we need to configure the app dot use static file middleware if you have any query or a doubt on the static file you can check our previous videos on the how to serve the static file where we have covered the each concept of the static file in the detail. Now we get to the student slash detail slash one. Look, we are getting the image also. So now let's see how to add the new view as a strongly type view. So let's add another action into the student controller, which will return the list of the student information. So let's add another action view result. We'll call it as a student list and we'll return the view. And we need to add the another method to get the list of student let's add another method inside the interface and we'll call it as a get all student after this we need to implement inside our student repository so we'll get the all the data of the student and let's go to the here let's add receive the list of the student 
and return the list to the view now we have created the action so we need to create the view so let's right click on the action add view here you need to select the template as a list in the model class you need to select the student class as a model class so once we select the student class that view is created as a strongly type view so this is view created by the MEC for us to display the list so let's run and see navigate to the student slash student list look we are getting the list of the student so in this way you will create your own strongly type view so now let's understand what are the benefit of the strongly type view as we see we are created the view to display the student list and it will give us the scaffolding which is the automatic functionality of the mvc so you don't worry about creating the html and all these things so another advantage of the strongly type view is intellisense support for example if you type model dot so you will get the properties inside the class where if you go with the view data and the view back, you will not able to find the properties of the class another benefit of the strongly type view it will give the compile time error for example if you type the property which is not exist inside the model class for example i will type the date if you notice we are getting the red line here it is giving the compile time error like this property is not belong to this class so in this way we will pass data to the strongly type view using the model class so please let us know if anyone has any query or a doubt we will meet in our next video thank you